All right, friends, I have good news and I have bad news. Actually, I only have bad news. Our time for these discussions has ended right now. Actually, I do have really good news for you, though. So, I think that, and my hope, one of my big goals for today is that over the course of the last few hours, you've been able to make some new connections, identify some new colleagues on this journey that are with you. And I hope that this also makes it easier for you over the coming three and a half days to continue these conversations while we're here live and in person. I absolutely encourage each and every one of you to connect with each other on LinkedIn or however it is that you like to connect. But I also want you to remember that this week we're here together in person. And if the pandemic taught us nothing else, it, it taught us that our time together in person is precious. And we should treat it as such. So do what you can to continue those connections over the coming days. I do have just a couple of closing thoughts as we wrap up today. And of course, first and foremost, I want to thank you all for coming and joining us today. Uh, hopefully you'll walk out of here with a couple of things. One, one of our little cards here that has our DORA core model. This is a great way to introduce DORA to anyone on your team, whether they're an executive or a frontline software engineer. And if you come by the Google booth later this week or find me, I'll, I'll walk you through this card in two minutes. I'll give you the elevator, elevator pitch. These cards are brilliant. It's Dora in an elevator pitch. Now, I also want to remind you of a great resource that we have, and that's Dora.dev. If you, if you haven't visited this page, if you haven't visited this site, I absolutely encourage it. You're going to find a ton of resources there. First and foremost, you're going to be able to read all of the years of Accelerate State of DevOps reports. Now, I have to be honest, as a, a research team and as a team that puts out these reports, we created a terrible mistake at the very beginning, and we've continued that mistake with us every single year. Our tragic mistake was that we put the year of the report in the title. Why is that tragic? Well, because if you go to a website and you see there's a report from 2014, what good is that anymore? We're now 10 years on from that. The truth is, if you open up that report and look at it, I think you'll find something that still resonates today and still matters today. So bear that in mind. We do make all of those reports available to you. You may have a, a, a burning question. Like, Nathan, I see that the latest report that's available is 2022. Uh, it's October. What's going on? I'm drinking a pumpkin spice latte. Shouldn't I have a new version of the report? Uh, and the answer is yes, of course you should, and you sh soon shall. Um, and if you talk to me on Friday and I give you a date of when it will be released, as long as that date was Thursday, you can believe that date. All right. So uh, I will uh, tell you it is coming very, very soon. Probably uh, you'll have great reading material for your flight home. Now, of course, you can read the reports there, but other things you can do on Dora.dev. Our, our, our overriding philosophy with Dora is that Dora is really a tool and a framework that helps you get better at getting better. We're all on this journey together of continuous improvement and get better at getting better. That's what we're doing. That's what we strive to do. And so you can, you can do that. You can get better by looking at the capabilities catalog there. That capabilities catalog looks at, yes, all of the capabilities that are in core, but even some that aren't in core at the moment. Core is another topic that we can talk about, and Dave Stanky is here. Where's Dave? Oh, he's back there saying yo, and his hands are up. Uh, if you want to talk deeply about core, Dave has been the, the driving force behind that. Definitely grab some moments with him. The other thing I want to point out really quickly that you might not have known, uh, because it just happened this morning as you were registering for this conference and walking in, we published today an article on Dora.dev that was co-authored by Denali, who you heard from earlier, and it is all about Dora and measurements for executives. So it is an article specifically targeting the managers of managers within your organization. So uh, I highly recommend that you check that out. Uh, another thing, of course, you could do on Dora.dev is you can take the quick check. You can use this with your teams to understand sort of how you're doing. 
I think the most effective way to use the quick check is to use it to drive a conversation. Use it to drive a conversation. Bring together your cross-functional team and ask these questions. And as you saw from Nicole's talk this morning, there's that help me prioritize, where we dig into some of those capabilities. The questions posed there are some of the most valuable pieces of that quick check, and especially valuable when you use them as a conversation. So you definitely want to be on Dora.dev and following Dora.dev and staying connected with this community. Of course, speaking of community, from Dora.dev, you can also link off to the Dora community. If you aren't yet a member of this, please, I can't encourage you enough, join this Dora community. As, as you've heard a couple of times today, it is a Google group, and we get together online and hold discussions. Most of our discussions start off with a presentation, and then we use the lean coffee format to talk about whatever that presenter just shared. If you're not familiar with lean coffee, you're now familiar with lean coffee because you've just done open spaces. Lean coffee is like a shortened version of open spaces. It's very similar to what we've done here today. So I absolutely encourage you and all of your team members to join the Dora community. And um, I guess I'll put this slide up and then I'll say some final, final words. Uh, look, feedback is a gift. We would love your feedback on how your experience was today. If you scan that QR code, we've got a survey that's asking you about your experience today. So if you could all just do me a favor, and I don't care if your camera's on or not, but at least act like you're pointing your phone at the QR code and like you're taking a picture. That will make me feel good. Uh, hopefully you're actually doing that and will actually fill out the survey, but as long as I get the view that people are taking a picture of it, I'm going to feel really happy. Now, before we wrap up uh, completely, I'd like to just take a moment to recognize a couple of people. Uh, first and foremost, I want to recognize Dave Stanky in the back. Everybody say hi, Dave. And uh, Amanda Lewis. Say hi, Amanda. And Steve McGee. Say hi, Steve. These folks are all directly on my team, uh, and, and we help bring all of this research together to you and, and drive this across the year. Also in the room today, we have Eric Maxwell. We have Kim Castillo. And we have Rob Edwards. We have James Brookbank. All of these people have been instrumental in this year's research and the report that you're going to be able to read soonish. Soonish. So uh, that's really, really important. But most importantly, I want to thank each and every one of you. I think that Nicole said it best this morning when she said that Dora is research and community. We are the ones that are at the cutting edge, the bleeding edge, driving these ideas, these changes across our organizations and, in fact, across the entire industry. And today, this morning's session, the, the open spaces we had, they would not have been successful without you here. In fact, they would have been rather boring if you hadn't been here. I don't know what we would have done. So uh, please give yourselves and each other a big round of applause for making today super awesome.